Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. It is Monday night. Monday usually means a nice little mail day for me because the weekend is over and more stuff shows up in the in the mailbox. I don't know why, but uh, got a few things here. Uh, lots of Hall of Famer autographs and one slab that you're seeing in front of you right now. And that's a 1955 Bowman. Again, just picking up Bowman stuff when I can of Hall of Famers mainly because they're awesome and I love the 55 Bowman set you know there's a dark version and a lighter version the lower numbers are lighter and uh, this is Nellie Fox right here in a PSA 5 cool stance of Nellie Fox then I got some uh, Hall of Famer autographs the first one I'm going to show is really pretty sweet I'm excited I got it because I'll explain it I'll put it up here so we can look at it and then I'll talk about it so I like booklet cards so that's number one I like Hall of Famer autographs there you go uh, and this is a actually relic card of a Hall of Famer that I didn't have a relic card for and that's Joe Sewell for the Cleveland Indians and so you can see here it's like a check cut which I do kind of hate that they cut a check and chop it up and uh, again whatever but it's kind of weird it's like it's all ripped and stuff and you can see the stuff from the check there it's a cool autograph and then a nice career 312 batting average with the bat piece on the right side this is from National Treasures Panini uh, you can see right there it's numbered to 15 from their cut signature materials product so I'm a huge I love National Treasures and again on this kind of stuff a lot of people were talking about like does, to me, the no logos thing doesn't really matter a ton on the Panini stuff of the older players because logos weren't a prominent part of their uniforms anyway. And so I just think it, it fits better with Panini and the older guys than maybe the modern stuff. But So this is from last year's uh, National Treasures. Love that. Very cool. Next up are three things that I bought from... Triple Crown 24, JT. We were talking the other night. He was showing some stuff, and I, I bought some things from him. Paid him right there. So there's a Harold Baines. This is from, like, 2016 Archives or something. It's a reprint of his rookie card. You can see down at the very bottom there it says Top Certified Autograph Issue. And then on the back it says that it's a reprint. So, just a neat, I mean, he's the GOAT, you know, he's Harold Baines, so who doesn't want Harold Baines autographs in their collection? So I got that from him, then I got a Jack Morris 2004 Leaf Certified Cuts K-Force autograph. I always thought these were cool back in the day. Uh, great subset, Jack Morris Hall of Famer autograph. I miss Leaf and Upper Deck days number to 50 so very nice also got a slabbed one from him there's a 2008 tops Mike Mussina PSA DNA authentic auto Mussina is a great through the mail signer and absolute deserved Hall of Famer and this fits into my player era tops cards that I'm trying to get really just getting them when I can and when they're cheap and uh, Again, JT gave me a great deal on this one along with the others. So thank you, JT. Really appreciate it. And next up are a couple of other Hall of Fame autograph player era cards that I got. This first one here is a 1977 Topps Phil Necro. Uh, this one happens to be graded a Jim Mint 10. Although it's really funny, I look at this auto and I have autographs that look way better than that that aren't 10s. So it just, I mean, I'm telling you, Probably the most frustrating and subjective thing in this entire hobby to me is the grading of an actual autograph by PSA. It just drives me nuts. I don't have any idea how they do it. I mean, they put their criteria on their website, so it's not like you don't know, but it just seems like, you know, I've seen better 10s and I've seen, again, grades that were are worse that look really good. So, but it's a 10 and then the last one here is a Gaylord Perry 
man, I'm glad they didn't grade this autograph because it's pretty terrible. This would not get a very high grade from PSA DNA. You can actually see it here. It's ah, really actually kind of hard to see. Um, obviously an ink pen autograph, but it is authentic and it is a 69 tops. Actually, the card is not in that bad a shape and uh, just another player era tops card and if I can get them slabbed that's great I got both the Necro and the Perry uh, for less than $30 shipped so that's less than 15 bucks a piece and they're already slabbed man that's a good deal to me so happy to add those and that's it for the mail today quick mail day uh, hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down below we'll catch you guys soon and keep collecting